Welcome back, New London, to another episode of KTTV. I'm Chloe Heitmeyer. And I'm Ella Francis. During today's episode, you will get more information about large group speech, hear some interesting facts about the month of February, and take an inside look at some Clark classrooms, all coming to you right after this. Last Saturday, our speech group had their first contest at Wapolo High School. I heard they did great. Let's see what other information Delissa has. This is Delissa Scott bringing you the inside scoop on this year's large group district speech. I was in group improv with Jenna and Joey, and my favorite memory was Mark. 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 I'm gonna start and get out of here. We all had to wait a really long time for the first and second group scores. Get out of the way! I have to get to the fire state building! Game. I joined last year, so I just felt like doing it again. It was super fun last year, definitely fun this year. Something I'll never forget was making it to state two years in a row. I joined speech because I wanted to try something new. Catherine McAllister, Joey Carter, and Jenna Hummel all made it to state for group improv. All of the groups did an amazing job, and even though many of us got salty by the end of the day, I would say we all still had a really fun time. This has been Delissa Scott reporting to you for KTTV. Great job, guys, and good luck at State. Each month comes with its own set of events, and February is known for several of its own right. Did you remember that February is Black History Month? For instance, Haley Krieger has his look at this month. This is Haley Krieger giving you a look into the jam-packed month of February. February's birthstone is the amethyst. Large group speech participants that made us a state will compete next Saturday at Cedar Rapids Kennedy. Good luck, everyone. Ready for the big game? The Super Bowl is Sunday, February 7th. Are you rooting for the Panthers or the Broncos? I would like the Panthers to win the Super Bowl. The Broncos. <laughs> <clears throat> the Broncos, too. Panthers. I want the Panthers to win the Super Bowl. I want the Panthers to win, too. I think the Dodgers have a pretty good chance of winning the Super Bowl this year. Broncos. Milwaukee Bucks. Not the Patriots. No. <laughs> I'm for the Denver Broncos. I'm going with the old man, Peyton Manning. You're rooting the Broncos! Uh -oh. The Broncos! Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding. Gonna win, go Broncos. I don't think so, it's a Panther day. Broncos. Parent-teacher conferences are Tuesday the 9th and Thursday the 11th from 2.30 to 8 p.m. The 8th through the 11th high school yearbooks are on sale for only $35. Buy one that week before the price goes back up. Then everyone will celebrate with a four-day weekend. No school on the 12th or the 15th. The 14th brings the anticipated or dreaded Valentine's Day, or will you be observing Single Awareness Day? State individual wrestling starts up on Thursday, February 18th. Keep rooting on your wrestlers as they finish the season strong. On the 25th, Clark students will, will be holding their STEM fair in the, in the evening. Be sure to check out all the projects. Join a team for tre Treats and Trivia Night on the 26th. Treats and Trivia is an annual fundraiser held by the music department every year. This year it is at Clark Elementary Gym on February 26th. The doors open at 6 o'clock and trivia starts at 6.30. There's nine rounds of trivia with delicious treats in between each round and door prizes for everybody. The cost is $10 per person and Teams can be anywhere from one with a maximum of 10 people. High school students are looking forward to the first ever Yeti Week. Here's Mr. White with all the details. Okay, we decided to do Yeti Festival to kind of break up the winter. It's, you have to think of it as kind of our, our winter homecoming. So we never have anything going on, so we thought it would be nice 
you know, have something for the kids to do during the, the winter month. You know, Yeti's a thing. It's uh, like the abominable snowman. And we wanted to pick something that, you know, is related to winter. During the week, th there will be dress up days. We're going to have a mat ball tournament during the week. And then we'll have the championship game on Friday. There will be a Yeti king and queen that's going to, they'll be chosen completely at random. It could be anyone grades 9, 12. And then we'll have a dance and chili cook-off Saturday night. And the attire for the dance is comfy casual. You can wear sweats, you can wear pajamas, whatever. Everybody comes, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so be there. This has been Haley Krieger helping you leap into February. You know what she didn't say? Groundhog's Day. It's Tuesday, February 2nd. It's the day when we find out how many weeks we have until spring. Cool. Do you know what else is cool? Clark Elementary. Ashley Smythe caught up with some Clark students to see what they've been up to recently. Take it away, Ashley. This is Ashley Smythe giving you a look into recent Clark activities. As we approach 100 days of school, we wanted to check in with Clark students to see what they are busy doing. Kindergartners have been diligently practicing their letters and penmanship, as well as anticipating some snow to fall and welcome their snowmen. The STEM Fair is coming up on Thursday, February 25th, and the kids have been busy preparing projects. For the STEM Fair this year, I'm doing the How to Make Ice Cream Project. Me and Xander are working on a robot. It's called a Beetlebot. It's supposed to go on around by itself, and if it hits into a wall, it puts down one of its antennas, and then it has itself turn around, and then it puts the antenna back up. I will be making an internal combustion engine for the science fair. I'm showing you my water cycle bracelet. You can make it out of a, a pipe cleaner and some beads. This is for water. This is for evaporation. This is precipitation. This is clouds. This is clean water. And this is ground. For my project, I'm going to see which paper airplane plane can fly the farthest. Nikki the dog is visiting this afternoon and it looks like everyone is staying busy. This has been Ashley Smythe reporting for Tiger Television. Thanks Ashley, it looks like Clark is having a lot of fun. Now a look into these week's events. Tonight there is a JV and varsity girls and boys basketball versus Van Buren here at 4.30. Saturday there is a 5th and 6th grade girls basketball tournament and conference varsity wrestling tournament at Waco at 10 a.m. Monday, there's a middle school boys basketball at Central Lee at 4.30. Tuesday, middle school boys basketball at Winfield Mount Union at 4.30. And Thursday, there's a middle school boys basketball versus Danville here at 4.30. That's all for this week. We'll see you next time on Tiger, Tiger Television. Television.